This tree is native to South America, commonly known as the sandbox tree. It was introduced to East Africa years ago, and it came with all its weaponry, with sharp spike covering all its parts and a highly poisonous sap. It's even more dangerous than it looks. It's even in America they use the sap for making, you know, bomb tears. The police, they use it. Tear bombs? Oh, yeah, tear yeah. bombs, yeah. The, the sap, the eyes. It's dangerous on the eye because it can have a temporary blindness. The owner had no idea of the dangerous tree that she had growing in her garden. I didn't know that it was uh, a sandbox tree and I didn't know that it was potentially a little bit dangerous. Uh, for the safety of everyone, I think I might try and figure out how I can protect the environment against it without having to cut it. The sap from this tree has been known to be used as poison on the tips of arrows. This tree has poisonous sap. So if you were to come in contact with this tree and get the sap in your eyes, you might have to be hospitalized or may even go blind. Despite its dangerous characteristics, it can also be used as medicine and offers a beautiful shade. But it's the violent exploding seeds that popularize this tree that has been known to grow up to 40 meters. When the fruits become mature, the seeds split and then they jump up to 14 meters away from the tree. And there are 16 seeds per fruit. So, you know, when they jump, is like a bullet, you know. When exploding, the sandbox tree's seeds travel at 160 miles per hour and can cover distances of up to 100 meters. So next time when you seek shade under a sandbox tree, be careful. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Tanzania.